Hi and welcome to Jurassic Unicast. This is James and I am doing a video basically on a tutorial on how to build the innovation center from Jurassic World on Ark. So um, let's start off. This is first of all this is creative mode on a single player. You can do this on PvP and PvE but obviously on PvP the chances are you're going to get attacked while you're building. On PvE um, it's down to you know having to go and gather and collect stuff so I'm on creative mode so I can just literally make what I want in a bulk form so what I did first is made a 10 by 10 uh, floor tile now as you can see it's changed this is the floor this is the uh, foundations and then it started going downhill slightly so I couldn't do it so I had to replace the foundations with uh, ceiling tiles and obviously where ceiling tiles are landed you have to put a foundation support so I've put I keep defecating sorry about that um, I have to put in uh, pillars okay so the pillars are all the way around the outside so it makes it easier for me to build on uh, in the middle so the main part of the building is circ is a circle so I've got to build a circle shape using um, this program that I call called Plots. So Plots, P-L-O-T-Z dot com. And it, me and uh, Steve use this for Minecraft. And it's really, really handy. Um, so if you go on Plots dot com, uh, you'll get, I think it's Plots dot com, might be, just type in Plots on Google or come up show away anyway. Plots.co.uk. There you go. Okay, so I use this th the sphere shape, but obviously I'm not building a sphere, but I'm just using the marker as a um, as an idea of how wide to do it. So I'm going to use it for four each way. So that's twenty-four. Um, I think it's let me have a look at this. I think it's ten across from each each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten to the centre. To, that's what these little pillars are for. Okay, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to use the tech walls. Um, do I start on the outside? I think I started on the outside. Um, one. Two, three, four. Oh, excellent. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've now got to come in because I need to make this graduated all the way round. And I go in by, um, by two. One, one, two. So, two, one, one, one. I think that's right, hold on. One, two, three, four, two, one. One, two, four. Yep. So four, two, one, one, two. Hmm. Right, let's start here again. Let's go from there. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I've gone a bit wrong there. So that should be the same pattern. So let's delete. Let's put that there. And that one. Yeah, let's delete these two. 
this is a bit good thing about creative mode basically it allows you to fly around which is ideal which is what you want if you can't fly around it becomes really difficult okay so let's do the one two three four let's come in one two let's come in one single 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 two two up one two three uh oh oh no done it again haven't I okay let's delete these two walls <laughs> this is another thing that makes it easier on creative mode because if <laughs> you'd be really annoyed <laughs> if you'd have made that mistake with a tech wall on the actual game so uh, I guess this is why I'm here to do this now I've done twos. Right, uh, why have I done this wrong again? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so. Let's try that again, because I'm clearly not concentrating well enough. One mess it up, haven't I? Two. Let's have a look at this. Two, one, one. I'm trying to work out how I mess this up. Hold on. Oh, five. That's why. Okay. So, right, let me get this right. Once I've done this, I'll come back once I have completed this uh, whole circle shape. And I'll zoom, in, uh, I'll zoom up so you can see what I've done. okay and welcome back and here I've finished the circle and I've layered an extra um, level on top so it's now too high so if you go down to the ground level there you go it looks like that okay doesn't look like much at the moment but you'll see it looks so much better after okay so now what I've got to do is basically layer the inside but follow the pattern round that's already there because if I go in too much, you'll lose uh, later on when you do the, the the next pattern of walls. It won't uh, latch on properly, which is what I've found before in the past. So, you don't want that to happen because you leave loads of gaps. Like it's not the end of the world if it does, because if it's on a especially on a PVE. Um, because no one can break into your stuff anyway so if there's a little gap here it's not too much of an issue because um, on our server we had uh, loads of gaps all over mine but from a distance it looks really cool okay so this is what I'm going to do now all the way around the edge and as you can see so far I'm literally just following where the wall is I'm not going any further at all okay so once I've done that oh I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do next okay okay so I've finished all of the inside row all the way around 
that one just that one in and now all I do is I lay down wooden fencing all the way around but notice I'm doing it that way around because what happens is if you do it the other way around and you lay it it leaves a gap which is really frustrating that's how the gaps start all the way around so unless you can find your own way of doing it like that I would uh, stick to it like this just for experience it it stops the um, the gaps forming however you never know it could um, it might even start that strip the next gap could if I did it uh, laid the ceilings down now let's have a look what happens okay so the gap there is no gap by the looks of it yep leads on it's perfect it's fine okay the only annoying thing obviously is you will get that lined pattern around the outside but I think I don't know it might look good in the sun so okay so I'm trying to think do I go up two straight away um yeah I'm gonna go up two levels so let's get this going all the way around As you can see, look at my inventory, you can see that it's all literally just wood. Because you do use so many for doing this. So as you can see, there's a lot of repetition. So I'm going to go all the way around. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to go in once on the ceiling tiles just once so I'm going to still stick to the same exactly the same pattern so it will look oh that's not what I want turn it around there we go so it should is that right so I don't want that to start wrong already so it should yeah it doesn't go on any other way Okay, so that's how it should look. It'll be like that all the way around, just following that same pattern. All right. Okay, so look, as you can see, I have laid, literally kept the same pattern going all the way up. But as I'm doing that from all four sides, as you can see, it gets narrower. There's just a few mistakes there, just around the edge. I can delete them after. But now it's gone into a square shape. So this square will then eventually go into a cone. So that's what I'm going to carry on doing. And eventually, you, what you need to do really is not put in the um, the glass until after. Once you've got the like the majority of the shape done, oh, that's when it becomes a lot easier. So I'm going to put these into a better position so I can access them because it's a really pain using the d-pad I can do it a lot quicker if I just use the button so I'm going to do this uh, there and there and there another two up I think I thought two going too high every level was going to make it too big but it seems to actually look alright when you go down from low ground level ah there we go let's uh, let's delete both of these because they're annoying there we go another good thing about creative mode is that I've set the day cycle so it doesn't change it stays daytime and sunny all the time which is ideal. Okay, so let's go down to ground level. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the front. So these two middle panels here will get replaced with glass going all the way up. Um, yeah, so we'll see what I can do about that in a sec. Um, right, let's put one of them in. Oh, 
Oh, what did I do that for? So that goes all the way around there. As you can see, he's getting quite narrow now. What I want to do is at the top of the cone is I want to make like a glass section and then put um, a laser, one of these things, shooting up straight through the middle. And it'll look really cool. So uh, hopefully by the time uh, I'm just going to finish this off and then I'll start adding the glass. Okay, so the cone is now complete. Okay, so this is the front. So that's... Um, it's gonna eventually I'm gonna put some decking out here using the uh, some more floor tiles or ceiling tiles I should say to create the front entrance okay so uh, I'm gonna add the glass now so let's find um, greenhouse greenhouse there we go So loads of them and let's have loads of these let's have some more because I don't want to make loads more there we go ok so let's go and replace them there we go Goodness sake. And let's replace that. Okay. So let's start here. Is that even in the middle? I just guessed. Yeah, it is. That's good. Okay, so. Why is that not? Locking into there. That's weird. Okay, so let's delete that. Ah, so you can do it, you just can't do it when the wall's there. That's all. Okay, so hmm, very strange. Okay, so what I've noticed about the Innovation Centre, it's got six brown columns. So the front of the Innovation Centre has this glass panel going all the way up um, to the top. And there's one that's directly the same at the back, but it hasn't got four glass panels, so one on each side. So I've got to do the next glass panel almost like diagonally like down here which is quite strange but it it does work I'll show you after okay so I'm gonna finish doing the rest of those oh. and then um, I'm gonna do the other side and we'll have a look see how it gets on okay so here we go here's the glass panels done on this side and the back uh, the sides doesn't have it because there's six wooden panels going around the outside of the innovation so I'm going to somehow try and <laughs> make them look symmetrical the best I can um, but that'll be soon um, but yeah there you go there's the main entrance just go inside and have a little look 
so you get the idea of how it looks inside there we go look at that eventually nice bit of light coming through which is cool um, I'm gonna also add some pillars struts and do an upper floor inside just like it is in a movie um, but here we go this is the entrance here and then this will come out and um, hopefully it will look really really good okay so this is where it's going to start to get difficult um, so my idea is to keep it like roughly the width of two it's going to blend up into that so right because whatever I do here I have to mirror there so I'm going to start here and I've got to do I'm going to do all of this panel here as well So do all that one. Once you've done one row, you can kind of assess. Um what you need to do. And if it looks right or not. I don't know why that won't lay in front. It's really frustrating. As you can see there's a slight slight lip there it sticks out don't know why but it's not letting me um it replaces it but it doesn't let me lay on top see really annoying right anyway so we're going to carry on doing this um, Okay, so it tapers in quite a bit there. This is where it gets annoying. So if it doesn't look right, I'm going to have to replace it again. Okay, so you see how it zigzags out. We don't want that. So, the only way I can think of doing it would be to do this one here wider. And this one, of course. Okay, so I'm going to go there, I'm going to go up again, so annoying, I just won't, this is the problem with doing like blocks, it's not like spherical. Yeah, obviously I will replace these as well, so... Let's do that now. Um, there you go. Okay, so, right. Just there, that needs to go in. So I don't know whether to go that way. Maybe I should go that way. Let's see how that looks. Rather than coming down the outside come down this way from there to lead into that so maybe I'll do um, let's have a look it's that big chunk I don't like that big chunk 
But when that's on both sides, it right, it needs to go there. Because from the front, it won't look good. So let's put that there. We'll assess it after. Okay, so you've got to go from the front's view here as well. So it's got to look quite decent from all four sides. Okay, so if I go, I'll continue going down um, that middle section there to the floor and see how it looks. Okay, so that was the best I could get it. It's, I've tried with um, some brown bits at the top there instead of the glass, but it doesn't quite look right because the top bit is, is all glass. Um, but yeah, no, it looks, seems, seems to be okay. So I started around the other side. I don't know why it takes so slow to get around. As you can see, I've started to do the panels on this side. So I'm just going to continue and carry on. Okay, so that's single down, so that needs to go. Okay, so all that outside section needs to be done too. Right. Destroy that, add in the wall, add in the ceiling tile, destroy that. Add in the wall, add in the ceiling tile, same for this one. What are you doing? There we go, and all these ones need to be done now as well. To keep nah. This is one of the good things about Ark. As much as um, like on PVE, as much as you don't get the whole, you know, raiding side of it you do get to create some really good builds um, that's one thing that I'm frustrated with with the uh, PvP though to be fair because on the PvP you'll go offline and then your whole thing would be ransacked you'd spend ages building some sort of base and you look the balls and then uh, someone will come and ransack it during the night while you're offline and it is infuriating So, right, I've done one side, is that done there? Is it done to? That must, that's got to be done there, surely. Okay, so I think this side here has been completed. Just got a mirror of that now. So I'll get rid of all these ceiling tiles. Ow. It's a good thing about creative, it doesn't cost me a fortune with stuff. Oh, this one, I forgot about this one. Mm, 
but I don't think that. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's see if that makes. Wood, 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 wood. That one needs to be done though. Okay, so this one here needs to be replaced. Oh no. There we go. And then I think. Let's get rid of this bit of wood. It's not necessary. Let's have a look. Zoom out. Hopefully, it should all be done. Just to see the tiles on them two and them two. And then I think it's the same. Yep. Sweet. So we have now done the roof, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to move now. I'm going to move on to the front entrance. Okay, let's have another little zoom out. There we go. So we've got the six panels. One, two, three. And we've got the four, five, and six on the other side. Brilliant. I'm really happy with that. Let's have a quick look in... Um, quick look inside. Oh, a slow look inside. I'm going to carry on doing this decking out here as well and then we'll start the main entrance. Let's have a quick look inside. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so I have laid down some more floor both sides and I've started off the shape for the front entrance. All I've done here is place two dinosaur gates, dinosaur, dinosaur gates, one there, one there, and I join the ceiling tiles up to join them together. Now this is going to be not, it's not just going to be walls. Okay, I will replace these with glass, but I'm just using the walls just to get the general shape. So, um, so you'll get the general idea of what I've done after. It will look much better. Um, I might actually take taper that in. Take get rid of this wall because it does actually go out at a slope. It doesn't um, at an angle. Sorry, it's not directly straight. Okay, so. get rid of my spear because that's annoying okay so that's how one side's gonna look let's seal in that off I think that might be too small actually let's go up one more um, let me have a look at the yeah I might I don't know to go up one more or not really do I go up one more? Nah, let's leave it. Let's leave it how it is. Okay, so let's uh Oh sealing this whole section off. See it's gonna be very dark in there, so I will need to use some lighting. Oh no. Okay, so let's delete that one. It's going to look so good once it's painted. So I'll go around and paint all the base like white so it looks really pristine. Um, gonna annoy me. There you go. I 
Okay, so one side has been done. I'll do the same on the other side and it should look marvellous. Right, so let's go fires this way. In one, in three, one, two, three, and then in another three. Oop. Yeah, there's another three in. Just so I've gone a little bit wider on the other side. Um, okay, so it's let's have a look at this then. So three, okay, six, two, three and three. So I'm going to go in one. One, two, three. In one more. One, two, three. Yeah, I think that goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. I think that might be, actually that looks really wrong right now. It's the other way around. So well, for someone that's not eaten anything, my character keeps uh, pooping quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to layer all that up double and put the ceiling tiles on and get ready for the paint job. Okay, so here we are. I've managed to do one side. Okay, so what I did here is I put railings all across the top, painted them white, and then I painted all the walls here white. It doesn't really look that white, but when you compare it to the grey, you can tell the difference, especially when you're lower down in the uh, in the light. There you go, let's see. Um, and in front, I put railings because it looks like there's blinds in the windows in the picture of the actual uh, innovation center so that's the best I could do for blinds so it looks like there's blinds inside so I'm going to do that on the other side now so I'll just use metal railings there but they need to go in front if they don't go in front oh if they don't go in front they will destroy the wall that is inside so you need to latch them on in front. I don't know why, but sometimes that doesn't latch on. I don't know why. Oh, like that. Um, okay, so that needs to be replaced, doesn't it? Okay, so. Let's get, okay, let's get that, there we go. Yes, I don't know why that's doing that there. It's not letting me lay it down, it's really frustrating. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, let's destroy them, see if, if I can lay it differently. Ah, 
Ow. Okay, so let's put that back in. Right, maybe that might work. Nope. Ah! The other side is not as difficult. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's not having it this side. Which is really frustrating me. I don't know why. So over here, it's fine, look. All the way up. I'm wondering if it's the way I've laid the walls. Yes, yeah, so that works. I'm wondering if it's the way I've laid the walls down here. Hmm, never mind. carry on doing this to the end I might as well spray paint these while I can oh, actually they've already been painted I oh, know they haven't so you can see the difference there to the end walls okay that's not doing that because I need to that's it. There we go. So I've done all that bit there, white. Okay, so I'm going to come back, I'm going to carry on doing this and then I'm going to come back and do that, okay? Okay, so I managed to work out a way of doing it, but it meant sacrificing the glass panels inside. I'll show you in a second. Just finishing of painting off this bit here. Okay, so as you can see, these have got no glass panels in. It's just, apart from that one there. So this side have not got any glass panels at the top, just the bottom. So I might actually consider taking them out on both sides. Um, especially that one, because that's annoying. So I'll see how it looks from a distance. If you can notice the difference in the, gra in the glass, Yeah, you can't really, can you? But, nope, you can't really see the difference there. I might even bring that wall forward. Because I don't like the fact that you can't see the uh, where it finishes. So let's lay that out there. Let's do the same on the other side. Let's 
bring that wall back out oh spray them both I think you'll see what I mean by the front yep there we go so there is our innovation center from the front all I need to do now to completely uh, complete it is spray paint all the way around the edge at the bottom to make it all white uh, spray paint a little bit at the top of the roof along there and then uh, start the inside okay so let's get going okay I forgot to mention before how to make paint now if you hit it's quite a basic thing to do all you need is a cooking pot if you've got advanced stuff such as the chemistry bench no sorry not chemistry industrial cooker makes it like by the gallon is like loads all you need is in here is some white berries uh, some charcoal some wood and some um, water inside by them little canister things and then the paint is made it's as simple as that um, you just need the berries to do it that's all okay I'll turn that off don't need that anymore okay so let's start painting um, right, let's get this out uh, I don't think that's working on the paint there so I need to change left trigger use the d-pad to change all of the stuff and LT and L1 or square L2 and L1 you should be able to paint that acid there we go right, so this should be able to all be white all the way around the edge see in the movie this is all covered up there's like flower beds and uh, all sorts of stuff I forgot how to um, refill the paint how do I refill the paint again there we go R1 oh, I forgot about that as well there we go Yeah, this is all covered with like a uh, plantation and it's hidden from the movie. Anyway, I've got my um, reference from the Jurassic World Evolution game. Because you can get the Innovation Center on that. So I just zoomed in really far, took some pictures of uh, some detail. And that gave me a good... Obviously Universal made the game, so they've had to use all the plans that they use for the movie to get it correct. So. Okay, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with all this out here because this the, the innovation center does continue round. You know, like all these glass areas do actually have entrances underneath. So I don't know. I might do that. It's not a necessity at the moment. I just wanted to get it looking cool from the front, if I'm honest, and inside, so people can so you can go inside and have a look. Um. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing that all the way around and I'll show you what it's like in a second okay so I've now painted all the way around the outside let's have a little view around all around the edge there you go all these walls have been painted now apart from that one which has been escaped there you go all the way around the edge there and and on top around the sides the outside of the building okay and the roof here is actually that color so I might get some darker paint I might not it's not really important because it is actually that color in the movie so so for next for my next video I am going to be working on the outside here and the interior of the innovation center hope you've enjoyed the video and hope it's been a great help I'm James from Jurassic Unicast See you later, guys.